Hello and welcome to another Purveyor of Light Photoshop Quick Tip. Uh, today we're going to be talking all about sharpening. Uh, this is uh, pretty high on the topic of people that talk about things in photography. Is they always want their nice sharp images and the problems that go along with trying to do it in post. Um, the most common defect of course is halos. And if you sharpen and you get halos, it, it ruins the picture. Um, so I've got a picture up here as an example. And you look at it, you know, and of course we're only at 50%, so, so it looks pretty good. But when you zoom in on it, okay, and you start looking at the thing, you go, wait a minute, look at this rock. You can see this rock here along the edge, look on the edges, and you'll see there's a white halo, okay? And that's because the uh, photographer that took this shot uh, either over sharpened or didn't restrict his sharpening. So it wound up creating halos around the objects. And you can see that, you know, it's, uh, it's all over the photo. So we're gonna show you today how to sharpen without getting halos. All right, so let's just go ahead and jump right in. We'll switch over to another photo that hasn't been haloed. And so now the technique is actually incredibly easy. You have to target your sharpening, all right? And if you keep that in mind, uh, you won't have any issues. Technique is very easy. So you take your image. If you have multiple layers, you may have to create a uh, stamp image on top so that your your last step of working with an image, of course, is sharpening. So if you don't know how to create a stamp image, it's uh, Control, Alt, Shift, and E for Windows. And for Mac users, it's Command, Option, Shift, E. Okay? And that'll create a stamp layer above the one above. Okay? So then you have your layer that you're going to do your sharpening on and we'll call that one the sharpening layer okay and again sharpening is always your last uh, uh, step with working with your photos so now i have the duplicate layer or stamp layer depending on your situation and i'm going to uh do a filter, okay, and this is nothing out of the ordinary. I'm gonna do a filter, and most people go to the sharpen. I don't recommend you going to the sharpen. Uh, go to other, and go to high pass, okay? This is gonna give us a grayscale thing here, image, and you need to move the radius until you are sharpening just what you wish to sharpen. Wherever you click, That'll give you your view in the little window. And what you're doing is you're looking. Okay, and you can zoom in, okay? And you can look in at your zooming. Now, for video purposes, I'm going to go very heavy-handed, okay? Just so you can see the effect. I wouldn't normally go this far. And luckily, because um, I'm utilizing a technique that will filter out and prevent the halos, I can be quite aggressive. So, there we are, I'm, I'm, it's, well, we'll just push it right to eight. So, that's an extremely, extremely high sharpening value. So I'll hit okay. So I've taken it way over the top. And so now we you can see we have all the defined definitions of the rocks. And now all I need to do is change my blend mode to overlay. All right, and that's the technique of uh, using a high pass sharpening. Now, if I zoom in, okay, you could see that I'm starting to see some banding, some haloing on the very edge, okay? So, to avoid this, okay, all we need to do is use a luminosity mask to control where the sharpening happens. Okay, 
So I'm going to show you the easiest way to do it. No extra software, nothing needed, just Photoshop. I want you to hit the channels panel. And then I want you to come over to the RGB channel and I want you to hold the command or option key. And that's going to highlight the highlights of the image automatically. Okay, you notice everything is now dancing ants. It's, it's selecting the highlights. Okay, the, the brightest brights. So come back to the layers. And now with that sharpening layer still selected, I want you to come down and put a mask on it. Okay, now, again, basics of masks, white reveals, black conceals. So let me show you the mask. This is, this, the mask is nothing more than a black and white image, okay? Now you'll notice I've got tremendous halos, okay, on this image. You could see them because I over pushed it. But if you look at the mask, white reveals, black conceals. So I'm sharpening all the wrong areas with this mask this way because we're on the highlights. We're in the sky. This is so we want to do the opposite. So select the, the mask and then I want you to hit command or control I. And that's going to invert the mask. So now the sky is, is blackened. And so therefore, there's not going to be a lot of sharpening done there. And the rocks, where it's white, is going to get a tremendous amount of sharpening. Okay, so we inverted it this way. So now we take a look. And now we see we've got very sharp, great detail but the halos are gone. Okay? The halos are gone. And that's the whole trick to it. Now, if I turn around and... Let me see if I can do this here. I'm going to... The sharpening is on. And I'm going to disable the mask to show you the difference. So, disable the mask. And you can see that all the specular highlights come back in and you could see the, the haloing that happens. But if I re-enable the mask, you could see all of that gets toned down. And again, I went to extreme, okay, on this sharpening layer. I went way too high. But it was so that you could see it through the video. All right? So that's how you turn around and sharpen an image without halos. All right, guys, take care.